So from here on forth, I would Cardinal, like to... Cardinal, I mean, if I might, I have a message from His Holiness the Pope yes. with which to address this body. He is dismayed to see once again his city besmirched by these heretical pamphlets. What do you consider more valid, the, the Bible or what Arist Aristotle reported in his findings? I think in any case, the Bible is the ultimate authority on truth in this world. On does the earth move? Chapter 10, verse 13 also says, So the sun stood still and the moon stopped. There isn't really much up for interpretation of these verses. We can go outside and see that the sun moves across the sky every day. Because it's such a radically different um, approach to the world that you know, I've ever thought of before, being a 16th century you know, conservative Catholic cardinal. If you were sitting on a horse carriage, you would be relatively still. You would be in your seat as the horse carriage moved. However, if you looked outside, you would observe the landscapes passing you by. When I saw that this is a role-playing class, that kind of convinced me that this would be a really fun first year seminar to take, and I wasn't wrong, because this has been awesome. It's so fun. The students really come to class excited. They come to my office hours excited. I've taught Galileo in a more standard format, and trust me, nobody's coming to my office like dying to go over the starry messenger with me. This really makes them excited about history. Through scripture, we can discover universal truths, and through our universal truths, we can get closer to God. And Galileo continued to publish books on theologically sensitive matters. I believe that he is saying that his mathematical demonstrations are equivalent to divine wisdom. This questioning of the Bible should only be restricted to members of the Catholic Church. And so it would be such a shame for the Catholic Church to send a, this kind of message to future explorers, astronomers, scientists, we um, condemn his work right now. We must condemn Galileo to eliminate any uh, suspect or divergent thought. It makes history come to life and shows how many factors are really influencing what happens. It doesn't just seem like an inevitable march of one thing after another. It seems like this sort of complicated series of events and everything's connected, but maybe it could have happened this way. Our final vote in Galileo was that we settled on vehement suspicion of heresy. Um, we made a lot of compromises and other table deals to get there. We probably would have liked to be on the side of formal heresy, but uh, we had to work with the moderates to determine it. So we found that was a, a happy medium, and we're certainly happy with that result of uh, long-term imprisonment for Galileo.